Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, we do an unboxing. We put together and we test out this $35 epoxy cup turner. Check it out. So it says cup turner on the box itself. And uh, I'll place a link in the description where you can find this at, but it was 35 bucks. So out of the box, uh, the first thing is gonna be some instructions. We have two pieces of wood, or uh, well, I don't know, it's kinda, it's kinda like wood, but it's not, I don't feel like real wood. It feels like, uh, like a laminate coating across the outside of it. Cup turner motor. This is a TYC 50 synchronous motor with the black wires on it. Has your piece of plastic here. It does have the um, adapter that I used in my previous cup turner. The one is actually, this is actually built off of. So we have that adapter. We have an adapter in here to go from this adapter to the plastic pipe. We have some screws, Allen key, and some uh, Allen screws as well. Uh, you do have to connect your uh, power wire here to the motor. It does not come connected. Here is the base. With the base already has all the holes drilled out for you. So we're gonna put this together and go from there. This is what the rods look like. If you can see where you can see it's still been cut. Now, uh, this isn't PVC rods, just a regular plastic rod. You know, it's got a pretty good fit. It's got a little bit of play, but not much. So this is gonna come with the same adapter that we used earlier in our other, uh, how to make a $25 cup turner. It says it came with five screws, but it has three drywall screws. So everything has been pre-drilled and I'll just, Go over that right now. So you do have the holes in the in the bottom for the back panel here, and you have holes underneath the plate, which this is what happens here. Since you have holes pre-drilled here, the screw will go from underneath and attach the plate like so. Everything's pre-drilled. Now the instructions say to use a just a regular screwdriver. I'm not gonna do that. The back piece is on already. Pretty simple. Front piece the same way, has the holes in it. And you have the holes here, pre-drilled. I mean, I like that. I mean, this is a simple kit. However, they did copy my design and now they're uh, making money off of it, which I guess anything on YouTube like that is like that. All right, so in my kit, when I showed you the bag of all the accessories, uh, the owner's manual said it should have came with five of the drywall screws. Mine only came with three. So I'm gonna have to improvise. I have some drywall screws, and I'm gonna just do that right now. So I got another screw I'm gonna put in. It's a lot longer than it should be, but it'll be fine. All right, so the base is made, and uh, so far, so good. Let's get on to wiring the motor and everything else, and we'll go from there. As you can see, the pink from my shirt through the shaft of the motor itself, once we put this adapter on there, the adapter is, this right here piece is threaded, so we'll actually run the screws through the adapter into the shaft of the motor. Now once you have the Allen keys into your adapter, now's the time to go ahead and slide that onto the shaft of your motor and make sure the Allen keys are not uh, in too much as it will not slide onto the shaft of the motor. Like in my case, I'm gonna have to back it out just a, a smidge. That'll be a new word for somebody to uh, say, what does smidge mean? So now you can see the set screws are into the adapter and the adapter can slide over the shaft of the motor just fine. Next step is go ahead and tighten up the set screws here so the adapter will not move over the motor. That's not going nowhere. Now, the plastic cap here that connects to the adapter with the other screw that's provided, 
Um, do not put this on until you mount the motor onto the first plate. It's because this cap is too big and it will not go through the hole. So we have to put and mount the motor first before we mount this piece of plastic here. There's indentions, there's one right here and one right here that's made for the motor to mount. So you actually know where to put the motor at to make to line it up properly. Can you see that? And that indention right there. And they provided the screws to mount the motor as well. So included in the package is two small green Phillip head screws and they are used to mount the motor on the back of the plate. So the motor is mounted on the back of the cup turner plate. Next step is to put on the uh, plastic cap adapter and provided is another uh, fine thread screw. A lot of people ask me about this screw here and uh, I would have to take one of the adapters back to the hardware store to tell you exactly the size of this screw. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure. So the small Phillips head screw has gone through the cap itself. And I put it in there with a Phillips head screw. Now it's time to mount this onto the brass adapter. So this wrench I'm using is a 12 millimeter wrench and I'm holding the adapter with it and tighten with the uh, Phillips head screwdriver. This is gonna ensure a tight bond between the plastic cap and the adapter. Just install your pipe. So last but not least, let's wire this thing up. So before I wire everything up, I'm going to take both of these wires here and tuck them into the upper hole here. So it looks like this right here. Next I'm going to take this cable here, run it, try to run it into this other hole right here. Okay, in order to connect these two wires here, um, both of them's black wires and on the synchronous motor, you can connect either wire of the motor to either wire of the switch. This is a butt connector. Wire will go into this direction here and you'll crimp one side. Then you put another wire on the other side and crimp that side and it just makes a connection. And inside of it is just like a little metal tube. And that's what I'm be using to connect this with. Now you can just leave these wires inside here. If you want to, you can even use a wire tie, zip tie them up or whatever you like. And that is your finished design here for a cup turner. So uh, I think this right here cable is like 60 inches long, so five feet of cable. It already has your own off switch built onto it. So let's test all of that out as well. Use a black magic marker on the side of this right here. Just draw a line where you guys can see that. Turn it on. And there you have it. So this cup turner is working now. This is the only thing that comes with a cup turner. I guess the company wants you to uh, put your noodle, your football, however you want to build that. And even in my video, that's what I did because everybody likes to be different and use different things. But let's just see if a pool noodle will fit. I always just like to run the pool noodles in my cup turners. So let's see if that fits here. It does fit. And let's turn it on and see what it does. All right, there you go. But is this worth it? Do you guys think this is worth it? This is $35 shipped to your door. All the wood pieces are cut. It includes pretty much everything. However, it did not include that one screw, that one drywall screw that I added. And um, it did not include butt connectors to join the two wires together. I say, I still say it's worth 35 bucks. That's my opinion. However, if you're a single parent, you don't have the tools to build stuff. Or if you're, you know, you do have a husband or a wife and you still don't have the tools to go out and build stuff or whatever, I think this is the way to go. This right here board could have been a little bit longer, but you know, 
to each their own. So that's my review of the $35 cup turner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if I haven't covered something that you would like to know, ask it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it as, as quickly as I can. Until next time guys, I'm Ryan Finners and we'll see y'all later. We look forward to, uh, that you can make exquisite handicrafts and share your works with everyone. Wish you a pleasant life. Um, okay.